Does somebody have a yep. key book to make sure? Okay, there's nerve board. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. I know, right? It's not accurate, though. Go, no, it's go not. In. I mean, I'm making no, this stuff go up. Go in deeper. <laughs> it becomes... Because we don't know where the key is. Even actually, I found the key I mean, to this. I'm like, no, you're wrong. You think about uh, it. So, plexus is right. Cervical. 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 Brachial. Lumbar. Or sacral. sacral. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we Peace. call this on the thoracic plexus? Like on There's no such thing as a thoracic mm -hmm. plexus. Oh, you so put down the word thoracic, thoracic plexus, plexus, it'll be wrong. Okay, so, so you're intercostal yes. Semi intercostal these are called, Yeah, these are called intercostal nerves because okay. they go between the ribs. What's thoracic nerves? Yeah, so here you can uh, see how these two meet. You can call that the superior trunk. You see how these two meet, call that the medial trunk, and you see how these two meet. Inferior, yeah, so you can do superior, medial, inferior trunks. The cords are these, we're not, I'm not going to worry about the cords. Because I, I can't tell on this whether this is like the posterior cord, the lateral cord. I can't tell. But we can do our trunks. So one there, one there, one there. One, two, three. All right. Okay. So we're coming into the arm. The easiest way to see the arm is to look at these three nerves right here. See how this is on the pinky side? It's the ulnar mm -hmm. nerve. See, this is on, this. they call this superficial radial, but you can call it radial. Mm -hmm. And you see the middle one? Mm -hmm. Median. Do not call it medial. Mm -hmm. You call it medial? I'm going to mark it wrong. There's no such thing. You can follow that median nerve all the way up and see that it does, in fact, go right down the middle of the arm. So that's, see how that goes right down the middle? Mm -hmm. So that's the easy one. Then the ulnar comes off here, kind of goes behind the elbow a little bit and reappears here. And then the radial branches off really early up here. You can't see it branching off. So you can kind of follow it down here to here. They call this superficial radial, but this would be radial. Musculocutaneous is one of the nerves you have to know. I, I used to call it 21, and then I decided that's probably not it, so I scratched it off. <laughs> um, and I decided musculocutaneous you so can only see on an big arm. arm. Yeah, big arm. Oh, for here, is the radial and ulnar still on the same exactly. side? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It never changes. Okay, so this is radial and this is ulnar. Yeah. So now what this guy is, he's like this and he's like this, right? So you see how you've crossed over? Would this be the musculocutaneous? It could be the coming out, but I think the musculocutaneous is that one, yeah, that that one, one right here. One. This one right here. Yeah, yeah this is the axillary. This is musculocutaneous. So this is the uh, part of the brachial plexus. So you see this one big one going right down there? Mm -hmm. That's median. Oh, so this Ooh. is musculocutaneous? Yeah, musculocutaneous. This is median. And then this going down the pinky side is ulnar. Oh, no. To find the radial on this, there it is. You gotta oh, take okay. off that muscle right there. Cool. The radial actually branches off really, really early. It comes off what, the posterior trunk? Or sorry, the posterior cord and branches off quite early. So you can't see it on any of the models. But you can always find it when it comes down into the arm, into the forearm. Okay, so you come down here into the leg and your problem is you, you encounter two 34s. The big 34 right here that goes down the leg, that's the, that's the femoral, right? So here's 34, it becomes 38, so femoral. So where's the saphenous? So uh, this or becomes the saphenous. Oh, okay. right so, here. so it's only the lower yeah. part. Yeah. So the femoral gives off a bunch of uh, muscular branches, anterior branches, uh, posterior muscular branches. When it gets around the knee, you actually become the saphenous. Okay. Okay. So then you look there and see there's another 34. I decided to call that obturator. <laughs> What the heck? It makes, it makes sense. Because I am the professor and I have this power over you, right? So I, it's, it's aiming for the obturator. It does come off this approximate area. It does okay. sort of do that. So I thought, what the heck, I'll call it obturator. Okay. Uh, this one, 32, I think, what was it? Genital Ilio femoral? Ilio inguinal Ilio genital Ilio femoral? Right? Ilio yeah, ilio inguinal and then genital femoral, right? Oh, no, lateral, no, sorry, lateral. No, I used lateral. to call this genital femoral. Just the lateral femoral. That's lateral, lateral femoral cutaneous, yeah. And that's the inguinal. Yeah, so take a look at this one and this one. See how this is on the side of the femur? Mm -hmm. Lateral femoral cutaneous. Mm -hmm. See how this is sort of, this one here, posterior femoral cutaneous. So lateral femoral cutaneous, posterior femoral cutaneous. Okay. okay. So the sciatic is this big, huge, giant thing here, 35. And this guy, again, is in like first position. Uh, what do you call it? I think you call it for either first or second position in ballet. Who knows? So he's got his legs straight out and one leg off to the side like in a T. But this is the uh, sciatic. Now, the sciatic gives off one of the big branches it gives off is this, the posterior femoral cutaneous. The key in the LRC calls this the obturator. The obturator doesn't branch off the sacral plexus. It doesn't come off. So I said, hey, that's posterior femoral cutaneous. Okay. Lateral femoral, posterior okay, femoral. Sure. Okay. And this was the, post, the obturator. Obturator. I decided to call it obturator. Okay. What the heck? So, uh, continuing on femoral, yeah, you've got saphenous right there, follow that. Now, this is the sciatic. The sciatic goes all the way down and it gives off just above the knee something called the, the common peroneal. Mm -hmm. 
uh, common peroneal or common fibular, and it's supposed to go, see how it kind of goes around the front of the knee? Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to go around the front of the knee, and then you can see it coming over here, off the front of the knee, it branches into fibular and tibial branches. Uh, sorry, not fibular and tibial, but yeah, it does. It branches into, sorry, superficial and deep fibular branches. So I think what I call 41 superficial mm -hmm. fibular and 40 is deep. So does that mean this is superficial? Yeah, exactly. So peroneal means fibular. So it comes down here, goes around the knee. So you see it coming here, track it around here. It's going to come out around the knee here and become superficial and deep. So okay. these are the branches so, off the superficial. So this wouldn't be deep then. That 41? Deep, I'm calling it superficial. I've seen some other nerve boards call it deep, but you can't really tell. I no, mean, I don't think you can tell. I mean, the superficial is more lateral and the deep is more medial and deeper. Okay. So since that's 41 and that's 41, mm -hmm. I'm calling it 41 over here. So it's a, it's which one? Yep, yeah, that's common right so, there. Right, that's that's common. So 41 is the superficial. Yep, right here. Of pearls. Okay. Yep, and then this one goes medial and deep along the fibula right there. But look at it here. Uh, basically, yeah, so right there. So then you continue on. Once that common peroneal comes off, you've got your posterior tibial, right? Oh. So once common peroneal comes off, it's now posterior tibial because it's running along the back, the posterior tibial, side right? of the tibia. You can't say tibial? Right? No, you have to say posterior, posterior tibial. tibial. Okay. okay. The problem is this thing right here. Surl. This is the surl, and you see it coming off the sciatic? The surl doesn't come off the sciatic. Mm -hmm. It runs through the meat of the gastrocnemius, which is why I'm calling it surl. But as far as I know, the surl comes off the femoral. Oh. So I don't know why they, but I'm calling it surl. You can see on 45, it says surl. It is a big nerve that runs right through the meat of the gastrocnemius, so that's definitely surl. They made a mistake in making it come off the posterior tibial. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, it doesn't. It comes off the femoral, uh, the femoral. That's all right, no blood, no foul. You look at that one. Coming through the meat of the gastrocnemius, call it surl. Uh, here you have the plantar, right? You've got your plantar uh, nerves, and then what do I call 42? The dorsal digital nerves. So there you go. And then 47, I call what? No, medial dorsal, dorsal cutaneous? Is that on a Not on it. Oh. <laughs> but basically, this would be the superficial, <laughs> this would be superficial peroneal becoming your, what is it? Uh, medial dorsal cutaneous becoming the dorsal nerves. This is the plantar nerves, which go underneath the arch of the foot. Okay. Okay? So there's only one. Imagine if it was a 